to Zampo and the heartiest welcome. I'm Misha Chojin, your host, and this is Talk and Show. My guest for tonight is a budding writer and an entrepreneur. Please welcome Tempa String and Sanginito. Welcome to the show, guys. So what's up these days? Thank you so much, Mayor Misha, for this uh, very wonderful opportunity. I must say I'm, I'm greatly humbled. Mm -hmm. And first and foremost, I'd like to pay my inexpressible indebtedness to their majesties for always inspiring youth like us to venture in new fields, no matter the number of failures, setbacks, and stumbling blocks on the way. And I would also like to pay my default gratitude to my parents, teachers, siblings, friends, and my relatives for always being a beacon of my inspiration. And now to begin with, almost a week ago, I was working on a novel, which I wish to bring out in a book a few years down the line. And uh, almost, uh, almost a month or two ago, I just launched my median book titled A Drop of Nectar, which is a collection of short stories and poems. And uh, these days, I'm just really engrossed preparing myself to go to college. And I'm also having some time with my friends. And that's all. That's all, man. Wow, congrats first of all, like a huge congratulations for your book. Job of Nectar, is it? Yes, yeah. Ma I've seen it and it looks really promising. I really hope to, you know, read it in near future. Such a busy guy, huh? It's not been a like a very long time since you launched your first book and you're already working on your next book, so that's bravo to you. Thanks. Okay, what about Sangi? What are you doing these days? Uh, thank you for giving me this platform. Mm -hmm. First of all, I want to uh, thank their majesties, mm -hmm. Royal Government of Bhutan, uh, teachers, friends, and finally my supportive family for making me what I am today. Uh, these days, as usual, I'm busy with my business work. I'm handling with online orders, delivering the orders, and uh, connecting more farmers for my business purpose. Okay, advancing your business. That's yes. awesome. All right. So this is for Sangye. Why Bhutan Smart Shop? Why this business in particular? We have come across a huge uh, traffic congestion in Sentinel Farm Market, and mm -hmm. it was also difficult to get a parking space. So we thought, I should say we thought because I have two partners, uh, so we thought uh, through our services, I think we can solve the problem of timber resistance. Mm -hmm. And also we have uh, collaborated with Zero Waste Initiative, uh, there's like civil so society organization in Samrut uh, who make uh, plastic baskets from uh, waste of plastics. Mm -hmm. So through this, uh, I think we are even helping uh, indirectly to in, in the environment. Yeah, waste through, management. Yes, uh, through our online site, uh, we also manage, uh, user also manage their expenses monthly, uh, monthly, mm -hmm. uh, like monthly or daily basis. Okay. Uh, through this, I think uh, our online site uh, make them like financially sound. Mm. They know how much they are sp spending in their months and uh, these weeks. La. They can keep track of their yes, you know, finance. Yes, That's awesome. And uh, uh, main thing why we started this business is because through our background, la, two of my partners, uh, our part my partners is like agriculture background, one is, one is civil engineering background. So, okay, this is interesting. Let yeah. me cut you here. How does civil engineering fit into this business? Uh, we are now we are now dividing into. Three parts, la, three okay. of us. We are going in different places. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, right now, I'm doing marketing and uh, connecting farmers. Okay. Then I'm next. I'm going uh, very soon. I'm constructing around uh, six greenhouse in Palm Okay. That's I'm going. I should You're say, operating I'm going from Palm right now. Yes, la, okay. I'm going for production. And the civil friend, his name is Kenji Tobge. Uh, he is like specializing in right now in the cold storage, la, design and all. Design and all. Yes, what do you mean design? Like? Cold storage, la. Uh, cold storage, yes, oh, okay, okay. To store vegetables. That's where his shape, like. uh, path yes, comes sir. in, rural And the in. other friend is like he's handling to handling uh, sh store our store mm -hmm. to increase the shelf life of vegetables, and he's handling with online stuffs. Okay, so That's how all the function. rules are well yes, organized. Sir. So how is the business doing? You it's like it has not been long since you started your business. How long yes, has it been? It's almost like uh, three months right now. Yeah, it's really uh, young. Right now we are handling with the website and mm -hmm. I think uh, people are not uh, really comfortable with the website they order. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing right now is uh, like we are working on an app and I think it's like we are almost ready for app to launch. Oh, most okay. probably by one or two days we, are, we will launch our 
app. App, mm -hmm. then start a full marketing hold in hold around Timbula. Do you have like plans to expand to other Jungkooks? Yes, la. But uh, for time being, uh, right now we want to we want to make customer feel more comfortable, trust our products, mm -hmm. and then only when we uh, have a more customer in Timbu and they trust us, then only we are planning to exp expand in like other okay. Jungkook in future. La. Okay, gain the trust of Timbu people first. Yes. Okay, so what about your products? Do you like all the products are local or um, are some of them imported? Uh, we have uh, both uh, locally produced and imports from like, India mm. because uh, uh, when first at first we thought to get all the locally produced product, but uh, uh, when you see the market out here, it differ in people to people perspective like, because some people they think like it's very expensive to look. And uh, some people who are like a uh, uh, very hygienic, health hygienic, they mm -hmm. they just buy local products. Now. Organic products, right? Yes. So Timpa, according to you, what are some of the youth problems that we face today? Thank you so much for the question, Jamie. Mm -hmm. um, in my personal standpoint, I feel that uh, the problems faced by youth these days are far greater than what was a problem a decade or two ago. So I feel like. Uh, Due to modernization, due to rapid uh, advancement, uh, modernization, urbanization, and development of the country, the youth problems are also fast aggravating. So, with uh, the development of the country, people are also evolving. So, the serious youth issues, serious youth problems that uh, youth face today are unemployment and substance abuse. So, according to research conducted by one of our government agencies, it has been said that uh, the youth unemployment in the year 2017, as of November, was 2.6% uh, increase compared to the previous years. And moreover, we hear a lot of stories about jobs and private and government organizations. But in reality, the number of jobs is far less compared to the number of youth in our country. Mm. So this could be the major reason why, why there are a lot of uh, unemployment problem in our country. And uh, another problem, uh, uh, youth issue, youth problem since the dawn of modernization was uh, the increase in the number of youth abusing mm. substance. So it is said that uh, unemployment problem could be a reason for increasing substance abuse. So I feel that uh, to curb these problems, uh, there should be strong policies in place, then there should be good parenting, counseling, and with, uh, there should be increased education and awareness. So with these methods, I'm sure the government can eliminate, if not reduce, the problem, these problems in our country. So that's all with the questions. Next segment it is called Playtime. So we are going to play a fun game. It is called He She Says. Yes, so whoever does uh, more of what I say and don't do what I don't say wins the game. As simple as that. He She Says, clap your hands. All right, one, one each. Both, right? Um, number two, ready? Yes, he She Says, drink your water. All right. Stand up! <laughs> Tempa nearly stood up. It's really getting complicated. Okay, statement number four. He should say spout. <laughs> okay, both, though, both of you lost the point. Were you guys shy about pouting or what was that? Why did you guys not pout? It's pouting. <laughs> oh, you did not get the meaning? Okay, my bad then. Anyways, you lost the point. I'm so sorry. Okay, statement number five. Raise your thumb. <laughs> Both of you <laughs> lost the point. All right. Uh, oh, both of you like going in the same direction. I mean, like when you get a point, both of you get a point. When you lose a point, both of you loses a point. So it's like, I mean, hot connection is there. All right. Stomp your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stomp your feet? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you lost your, yes. lost your point, it's my okay, dear man. brother. Okay, Timpa lost your point. Okay, the final statement. 
she says, give yourself a hug. <laughs> you were a little late, but then... All right. You want, to, you want me to give him a point? It's okay now. Okay, you want to be generous? All right, then both of you win. Okay, a point here. So let me calculate, okay? Um, Tempa lost by one point, just one point, because you stomped your feet, right? So the rest, you guys are like on the same level. All right, so congrats, Sange. You won the game. Thank you. I think so, there's some prizes. Yeah, also. there is a prize. <laughs> so you get a free top up from Tashi Sell. Okay, thank you. The next segment it is called Mystery Maze. In this segment, I'm going to ask you some riddles. So, how good are you guys with riddles? I think you will give our best, man. All right, let's try, right? Okay, here goes to riddle number one. If red house is made up of red bricks and yellow house is made up of yellow bricks, what is green house made up of? Green bricks, ma'am. Green. Green bricks? Uh, both of you, it's wrong. Green house, my dear fellas, is made up of green, uh, I mean, made up of glass or plastic. <laughs> I nearly said green too. Yes, so. I could have said green if I was in your position. Okay, it belongs to you, but others use it more than you. What is it? It belongs to you, but other people use it more than you. Your Seems name. unfair. Your mm. name? Name. Name. Uh, yeah, it's the name, right? You, you really use Sangi, um, like, only in the moments where you have to introduce yourself, right? And Tempo also, same thing. So, but then others use your name more than you do. Yes, All right, ma'am. it's your name. Number three, the more you take it, the more you leave behind. What is it? The more you take it, the more you leave behind. Is it uh, footprints, ma'am? Okay. What about you, Sangye? No idea. No idea? <laughs> yeah, it's footprints. <laughs> the more you take, the more you leave behind, right? Footprints. Okay, that's all with Mystery Maze. The next segment, it is called Supersonic. So I want you guys to answer the question as fast as you can. Yes, okay. Ma'am. Number one. If you were an acclaimed author, this is for Tempa, yes, what ma'am. would be your next book? I want you to, I want you to be fast. Uh, my next, next book would book. be a novel, ma'am. This is for Sangye. What is the biggest challenge for Bhutan Smart Shop right now? Biggest challenge? The uh, biggest challenge right now is like uh, storing our uh, vegetables in summer, summer season, especially. It uh. get, uh, like, uh, shelf life is very less and it gets there. Uh, so biggest challenge for Bhutan Smart Shop right now is to keep your vegetables fresh, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Don't you guys own a big like walk-in refrigerator or something right now? You don't. Like we have ordered from China and very soon it will arrive. Okay, so walk-in refrigerator yes. would solve that problem. Yeah. All right. So, third statement and the final one is two qualities you admire on yourself. Uh, either one of you can go first. Okay. Two qualities that you admire I, on yourself. I really Off admire course. myself is uh, I'm jolly and then I'm sociable. Now. Sociable and jolly. Okay. Yes, like, I'm a very talkative and frank. With talkative and frank. Yes, You're talkative and frank. Yes. Okay. All right. That's all with Supersonic. You guys did great. And the next segment, it is called Insights for Impact. In this segment, we like to talk about an important matter. Yes. And the chosen matter for tonight, the chosen topic for tonight is, what is social media doing to me? Social yes, media and mental health. Yes, The presence of social media is felt everywhere, right? It keeps us connected, it keeps us informed, but then it disconnects us with people around. Um, it makes us compare and despair, compare and despair. Now, when somebody uploads a flashy picture, a really cool picture on Instagram, we compare our lives with them, you know? These are their highlights, but we don't realize that. These are the cream, cream of their, you know, of their experience, right? And we don't realize that, but then we end up comparing their highlight with our behind the scene, our real life, right? And we say like, oh, my life is not very cool. Um, what am I doing? These people are traveling. These people are doing this and that. And it's not happening to me. And we don't realize that they have their dim lights too. They have their highlights and they have their, they have their dim lights. And we don't see that. So social media makes, hijacks into your brain, hacks into your brain and makes things like that. And the next part is, we are starting to measure our self-worth in likes and comments of people we don't even know sometimes, right? Yes, ma'am. 
that's happening to you guys? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So we are seeking validation from these people. We are measuring our self-worth in likes and comments and seeking validation from there. And that is really sad. And I would really question what is going on. What is really going on in our society? To our youth, right? And we are losing our authenticity. We are losing a true self. We are in this vain race of, you know, who's got the glam life, who's got the happening life, you know. In that hustle of living, um, you know, running that vain race, we are losing ourselves. We are losing a part of ourselves, right? We don't even recognize which, which is the true self. We are losing our essence. I really think that we are losing our essence. According to a research then, people who spend over two hours on social media, you know, these people are more prone to depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts. So I think it's time we question what we consume, what goes into our head. I mean, seriously, we like to diet, we like to maintain our body, right? And we watch what goes into our mouth. So it's time we watch what goes into our head. So what's your take on this? Okay, thank you can go first since Tempa uh, has been going first. I'll <laughs> give me a complaint later. Okay. Uh, social media is uh, like a driving force these days, mm -hmm. uh, be it uh, good or bad. Yeah. Uh, saying goes every coin have two sides. There's always a positive thing in the social media. Mm. People never post a negative thing about it. Yeah. Like I know. Uh, uh, they post, they're always happy and yeah. uh, and the, and they have like everything in the world they got. Yeah. And, and, uh, and they're living the best life, yes, right? Yeah. yeah. In the other side of side of the, world, the people who don't have anything, any they see st about their uh, profile and the pictures they posted in Facebook and yeah. all, they think like, ah, oh, I'm like a very poor. I'm I'm, I'm not like them. Peer they get pressure. depressed. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that that's how it make a comparison between the people themselves. And compare and dispute. Yeah. How is it personally affecting you? I, I want you to be honest. How is it personally? What is social media doing to you personally? What on which platform are you most active? Like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, which one? Uh, Facebook. Facebook. WeChat? Facebook. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so what is it doing to you personally? Uh, Facebook, like we have so many friends, and but in reality, we don't have much friends. Yeah, really good point. Yes. Yeah. Frankly speaking, mm -hmm. I was born in a countryside where okay. the influence of social media was too less, ma'am. Okay. So, Lucky you. Yes, ma'am. Book, books were the main source of entertainment. So during my free hours and holidays, I used to live through the pages of my books and then I used to read. And moreover, since I was born, born at a countryside, nature was my inspiration and also an entertainment. Uh, and oftentimes I used to listen to the whisper of the wind. I used to watch the flutter of the leaves and I used to listen to Twitter and oh, then so <laughs> Twitter and shouting matches of the birds and then I used to listen to the laughter of the streams that ran nearby my village. So actually nature they inspired me to write poems. So this when the journey of my writing started ma'am. So today I feel so grateful to social media for not setting its foot into my village because if the social media actually came earlier and influenced the place where I lived then I would not be I would not be a poet today. So it was because of its absence that I could become a poet. And uh, many people say social media has a power of connecting people, all the global population. But what I personally believe is that social media has a lot of effects on mental health. So first effect uh, on mental health that social media has is that we are actually acquainted with our friends, uh, friends' uh, digital facades rather than their true life personas. Yeah. We are uh, most of the time into that rectangular screen and yeah. then that's how it actually bursts the real connection, face-to-face -face interaction between humans. And the number two, number two effect that social media has on youth is that uh, youth, uh, they, they uh, you'd say they, they t uh, to receive more likes and to receive m uh, to get more followers on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or mm -hmm. any of the social networking websites. They even change, they go to the extent changing changing their appearances. There is mm -hmm. a behavioral You're changes. You're talking about editing right now. Or? Yes, and moreover, there uh, it also causes sleeping disorders and even eating disorders. 
because yeah, that's true. Really and good point. Yeah. And we can't. The sad thing is, we can't, you know, yes, take ourselves, remove ourselves from yes, that race yes, because of fear of missing out. There's, it's yes, actually a term for more. It's fear of missing out. Yes, fear of not being in the cool zone. You know, yes, fear of not being the cool ones, right? So we actually are in there, even we don't, even if we don't like the image we created there, right? Yes, because it's not us. Yes, it is a facade, like you put it, right? Yes, mm -hmm. I think it's uh, it defines how people take it. Mm. If you take it in a positive way, I think social media give a lot of uh, knowledge and ideas. Of course, of course. Yeah. Positivity is always there, yeah. like you said, like sides of like yes, a yes. coin. Like for example, if I said uh, example of my business, I'm doing marketing through my Facebook page, you know. Yeah. So it uh, directly or indirectly, I get uh, more orders, customers. They visit because uh, because of the uniqueness I posted in the Facebook pages and all uh, all of about our images of shop mm -hmm. and the uh, unique sites. Yeah. So yes, you're saying if you know how to use yes, social media constructively, positively, it's good for you. Yes. But if you obsess about you know getting into the vain race of glam yes. and you know happening life, and if you compare and despair, yes. not realizing the fact that these yes. are highlights and they're the dim lights too, it's bad for your mental space, mental health, right? So if you can use it positively, it's positive. Yes. So it's up to us. So yes. that's why I said we need to ask ourselves what yes. we consume. Yes. All right, that's all with insights for impacts. Um, really good points that you guys put out there, and it, I hope people realize and you know wake up to the facts and use it more positively and constructively. All right, that's all with insights for impact. The next segment it is called true or false. So I would like you guys to state whether the statement that I'm going to put out yes. true or false according to you according to you using that prop. Number one, I am a believer of fate. Okay, you go first. Wrong? You don't believe in fate? No, could no. You just, can you, can you, could you justify it for me? Uh, I, sh I should say no because I'm a very practical person. Okay. I believe in uh, one's hard work and effort you put, then only you'll reap your... Believe in free will. Yes. yes. Okay, awesome. What about you? I will also give the same sight, ma'am. Whoa, I have got Be two <laughs> logicians here, okay. Because uh, many people say men are architect of their own destiny or men are makers of their destiny. So actually, what we will do actually doesn't depend on our fate. So actually, it's uh, what we do that really shapes, molds our future. Okay, you can be your own architect, yes, right? All right, that's awesome. Both are believers of free will rather than fate, yeah. Um, number two, I always knew I was going to be an entrepreneur. Did you know that you, was, you were going to be an entrepreneur? No. no? What, was it, what did you see yourself doing in the future when you were in college? Uh, I thought after graduation, I uh, thought to uh, work in the uh, in civil service. In civil but service. But coming here, the market was uh, totally driven. It was not easy to get into the uh, civil service. Yeah, the I know. The vacancies were very less and uh, there was like a lot of competitors. Okay. So, from that only, I, I thought of like, uh, I'm an agriculture background and why not I start that business that can mm -hmm. help a temporary team. You used your free will. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Okay. What about you? Do you know what you will do in future as a job? Do you have a, do you have a vague idea of what you will be doing in future? Actually, no. I'll give this. The next segment, it is called Fun Fact. So I would like to know two fun facts about Senge and two fun facts about Tempa. Two very peculiar thing about me is uh, many people say that uh, when when they look at my appearance, I don't seem to crack a very good job. Mm -hmm. So they say like uh, they say that when <laughs> when I crack jokes Joke. unexpectedly mm -hmm. and make them roll in the aisles, they say, "Man, you also know how to crack jokes." Mm. And uh, would you like to crack a joke right now? Crack a joke. <laughs> make us laugh right now. Which I think. Uh, I don't have any jokes for now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to make us rule in the eyes. <laughs> Depending on the situations, I uh, create okay. jokes. Yes, ma'am. You should have said never yeah. judge a book by its cover. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And uh, though I am jolly and sociable with people, actually they don't see this quality of being able to create good jokes. Mm. So that's their yes, flaw, right? Yes, okay. and, uh, fact and number one, really yes, fun. What's yes. the fact number two about Tempa? The fact. Uh, second fact about uh, very peculiar fact about uh, uh, myself is mm -hmm. that, uh, like, uh, as if I am a female, though I'm a male, mm -hmm. I am afraid of heights, man. 
be afraid of heights? Afraid of heights, man. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Who said that only females are afraid of heights? It's actually, <laughs> it uh, sounds a bit, uh, bit uh, effeminate when they say I'm afraid of heights because uh, actually many of the male, they do not fear heights. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that, okay, height is not gender biased. Yeah. Height is height. It doesn't have a gender. Yes. So it doesn't like, okay. How to one say like, okay, only males should be not afraid of me, only females should be afraid of me. There's no such thing, right? I want to link this to a current work I'm doing. Uh -huh. If anybody wants to marry a farmer, then I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> anybody who wants to marry a farmer, uh, you're available, yes. okay. The uh, next one is, ladies, if you think that vegetables, fruits and grocery items are too expensive, then marry me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I was and I'm inspired by Al Nightingale's quote, success is a progressive realization of a worthy goal. And uh, moreover, there is a Chinese proverb which says, pearls don't lie on the seashore. If you want one, you have to dive in, dive in yourself to get one. So through the journey of my life, I've learned that success, it lies in never giving up, rising every time you fall and uh, also, it lies in the hard work and determination that one puts in while, do, while doing anything. And uh, moreover, to quote one of the beautiful lines Jay Shetty says in his, one of his inspirational videos, he says like, failures are only failures when you don't learn from them. Because when you learn from them, they become lessons. And we actually extrapolate all of these teachings and actually get more insight into how we can improve the way we work and how we can actually drive with a different energy. So, I like to say that to succeed, it is okay to fail, but uh, we should never give up after two or three times of failures because Thomas Alva Edison failed 999 times while inventing the light bulb. The best insurance of a life is job well done today. Uh, how much effort and hard work you do right now, uh, your result will be definitely there. Uh, next is, uh, Every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, how much uh, hardship and challenges you face, uh, something good is waiting for you. Well said, guys. Tonight, we have music from Ngawang Tenzin. That's all we have for you now. Thank you for making me a part of your day, and I'll see you soon. Till then, stay awesome and explore your potential. Goodbye. Molly to look at them there. Chill look at it in the Atara, Nissan Chillo Goody, Tatoya, Chay, Chetum da lunga sem gawe, chetoni mip da lunga sem shiwe. Kurwa dina men siru cheme na, kurwa dina nam ki siru cheme na. Kaji ina dare kapji janda ye, lok shosa chetoni ye bisago dina, tago no chitaru taji. Shu shu nigi pama, shu shu nigi mitena. Kade bero bum chedi toni ye chipena. Shoo, shoo, nigi pama. Shoo, shoo, nigi mitina. Gade beru bum chedi toni yip chibana. Kuma tete, uma shiru chitinta. Chitoni di matu de beru chilu taro chibeke se labru. My back, nera matu bum chigi. Gade chilap chi, I mean no ham. Na chilu ka, digi lendi nga mungo de beru chigi taro ya be matu. Na gitop chi, chigi lendi. Tachi la da, double in nima chiru ten chigi kole rangi lam tung de nu ni soda ye dra sem shi de gup jui kemi nu i kau che la kaja be matsuru chigi kole ran no sam tandi de ni ha go i che to mi nim la che le soso gen ga ya ta go mano che le soso gen ga ya zogo mano 
forever Check it out, look in, lasso, cut the check. 